If any rib fracture is present, investigate for potential pneumothorax or pulmonary contusion. In the event of a fracture involving the first three ribs or sternoclavicular dislocation, airway or great vessel injury should be suspected. Fractures of the lower ribs, 9th to 12th, may indicate an associated abdominal injury. The presence of two or more rib fractures in multiple locations raises concern for flail chest or pulmonary contusion. Scapular fractures warrant evaluation for potential great vessel injury, pulmonary contusion, or brachial plexus injury. Mediastinal widening should prompt consideration of great vessel injury, sternal fracture, or thoracic spine injury. A persistent large pneumothorax or air leak after chest tube insertion may signify a bronchial tear. Mediastinal air warrants investigation for esophageal disruption, tracheal injury, or pneumoperitoneum. A loculated gastrointestinal gas pattern in the chest may indicate diaphragmatic rupture. If a nasogastric tube is visualized within the chest, diaphragmatic rupture or ruptured esophagus should be considered. An air fluid level in the chest may represent hemoneumothorax or diaphragmatic rupture. A disrupted diaphragm raises suspicion for potential abdominal visceral injury. Free air observed under the diaphragm may signify a ruptured hollow abdominal viscous. If you observe respiratory distress without radiographic findings, consider the possibility of central nervous system injury, aspiration, or traumatic asphyxia. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.